started playing with Macho Tres, 1997. It began with me and Chris. We used to rehearse at the Latin American Youth Center. It offered us uh, a space where we could go after school. We were kids, so it offered up a space where we could go and uh, play music. They, uh, they had a music program where we went and uh, played with their instruments. And, and yeah, they didn't charge, so you just went in and practiced. And, and it helped, too, that my father was the one that was running it, so. <laughs> I am from El Salvador. This man is from Peru. The gentleman here has that says he's from uh, Argentina. <laughs> Chile. <laughs> we had like a million different names before we settled on Machi Tres. We were playing a block party, like probably like a second or third show. And every single time we'd play, we'd be like, uh, yeah, we're the Latin American Youth Center band, because that's how we started. And then it was like, oh, we're this other band. And then finally, we settled and we're like, what's the name of the band? I was like, uh, Machi Tres. I was like, all right, well, let's start. There you go. <laughs> we play punk rock music with a little Spanish flair, a little Latin flavor. Uh, we sing in English and Spanish. We talk about our experiences here as immigrants here in the U.S., you know, coming over, crossing the border, trying to find work. You know, finally I became a citizen. So it's my home now. We mix them up a little with different, different rhythms too. Uh, but uh, we do, you know, we mix some cumbia in it, some like, like folkloric stuff. Um, but yeah, we played it. We played our set. We had to. Uh, <laughs> the power went out like twice as we were yeah. playing because it's a little loud. <laughs> It was cool to see kids here too, and they would yeah. they came up to me like two, three little kids, four years old, and then there was a, they were like, "Oh, we love your stuff," and I'm like, "That's, that's the reason yeah. I do it," you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. And, then, and just that that makes my day. It's growing up. It's growing up in a different country. With me, it was a little different because this was my home from the beginning. I was two years old. You know what I mean? But with these guys, so you guys came. I came in '95 from Peru, and then. It took me 12 years to get my green card, but now I'm you know, happily married and you know, a resident. And this is my home too. I came in 1988. Um, How old were you? I was 12 and uh, I definitely, I was dropped into a place where I was basically the only Latino in the school. So I, uh, it was uh, tough, you know, learning Not a new language. Right. You, know, you hear people it's try to, hard. they come over and they try to find yeah. jobs and discrimination. It's hard. Music is my life. That's that's what I do. It's the way that I express what I feel. Like I said, with whatever whatever it is, I could be happy, I could be sad. I have sad songs, bad songs. I have songs with bad words, songs with nice words. It's a part of me. I can't, you know. If I, if I wouldn't play music, there would be no outlet for me to express myself. I, I'd implode, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely it's a, a vehicle for expression, pure expression, and also, I mean, just for forget about stress and all the things that like routine life gives you. Yeah, like if we had a, a message to, to like little kids that came to see us, is that, you know, go and play what you want. You don't have to play what's on the radio right now or anything like that, just do what you want. It's a way of expressing yourself, you know? And whether you play pop music, whether you're in a cover band, you, that's the way people do it. This is the way we do it, and that's all I can say. <laughs> Thank you guys, wow, that's a little, that's great.